So the problem, I guess, it's not really a problem, but uh, something that's a shortfall with the current way we pump our tyres up is that the pressure gauge doesn't work while the compressor's running. You need to turn the compressor off before this gives a true reading. And the problem with that is the compressor's always up the front of the car hooked up to the battery or, or uh, in my case it's on board and hidden away under the floor and I can't turn it off easily while I'm down near the wheel, uh, you know, keeping an eye on things. That's why I come up with this idea. It's been in the car for a while now. It's very reliable, it's cheap to do and uh, it makes pumping up tyres by yourself very easy because then you can uh, start and stop the compressor without it actually being near the compressor. It comes down to this little circuit board which I'll put a link below. Uh, if you can follow that link uh, it goes to my uh, eBay site where you can buy this circuit board. It's pretty cheap and it helps to put my channel and keep things going. Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, you've got a little switch on your compressor that you normally operate by hand. It's got a 0 and a 1 written on it normally or on and off. And you flick that and then the compressor turns on and the compressor turns off. Really only one of these wires matters and it's the wire that energizes the compressor. In my case I've got an onboard compressor so it's under underneath the floor but this wire here is the one that uh, if I get power to it it turns the compressor on. Um, the rest of it is to power the circuit board so this is a permanent power wire just coming from my battery and also uh, this little circuit board needs to have two poles energized so basically I've just created a little loop wire that goes to the second one here and the black wire that's just earth so that just goes to the car body. Uh, Essentially what happens is, um, now for my system, uh, I need to have a switch on to, to give this wire, this permanent wire power. So I flick that on here, and the little light just flicked on the circuit board for a second. And that energizes this. Um, now, all you need to do is grab your remote control, which uh, mine's pretty worn and used. And um, if you're down near the tyre, you'll obviously screw that onto your tyre and then start pumping by hit the button. And then uh, if you think you're near the pressure you want, you just hit the off button and check out the gauge. That'll, that'll show you a true reading. If you haven't got enough air, you just go again. And that way, uh, if you don't have two people, um, then, yeah, at least you can stop the compressor remotely. Um, and without having to be near the compressor and uh, you know turn it off by hand. Anyway, um, yeah, that's my little project uh, that works pretty well. I'll show you in action in a second. So yeah, it's um, pretty straightforward really. <clears throat> With the compressor off, you can see the true reading on the gauge, and then hit my little button here. Obviously, the reading's not true when the compressor's running. But now you don't have to go back and switch it off or have someone there to switch it off. You can just hit the remote and then, yeah, if it's not enough here, keep going. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe.